so let's visualize that how static objects work because uh, that's really a very uh, good programming skill that if you understand static uh, because it's sometimes very memory efficient and sometimes it's very uh, memory inefficient so if you're not careful it is very memory inefficient if you're careful it's memory efficient so let's see let's say you have a web app and you have a class B as a static class in your uh, web app so before starting that app maybe you just uh, put it in the cloud or maybe one user is trying to access it the static B class will be created that's it that's the first thing that's it's going to happen and then the web application will run and the other classes and in this case I'm assuming that the web application only has class A so this is a normal class and uh, this is created because user 1 requested something from the class A but static class is created if the user 1 needs it or doesn't need it it doesn't matter since it's a static class it will be created and shared across your application let's say user 2 comes in at the same time and class A will be again created it will be again created for user 2 but class B will not be created it will be shared across so let's say you have user 3 and it will be again class A will be created so let's say that user 2 is gone so class A will be gone but static will still remain there let's say your user 2 again comes in then uh, class A will be again created specifically for user A and the, these are all in other instance everyone are going to occupy memory for class A class A will be replicated three times for three users but class B will be shared let's say user 2 is gone so the class A for user 3 is gone and so on at last when you have no user or when you practically closed your application your static members will go that's it. Passing reference parameter is very interesting and um, lots of people are failed to explain and uh, lots of newbies are really uh, suffer from understanding this concept. So that's why uh, it's not a functions session but it's really about the function and why I choose this topic it will come up when I really finish talking about it so I have seen that a lot of newbies suffer uh, to understand passing parameters as a reference type or uh, the value type so MSDN says that the primitive types are passed passed as copied or a value type so value type means it's copied and uh, non-primitive types are passed as reference so at this moment if you don't know about this you are really confused so let me give you some light on this topic and let's say that I have these functions so I'm saying that this function is a non-reference type so I'm choosing uh, explicitly choosing this string because the MSDN says that the um, only the primitive types passed as a value and non-primitive type string is a non-primitive type so primitive types are char uh, int double decimal date something like that but if you go to primitive type C sharp primitive you will see the long list so uh, other than that uh, all are non-primitive type so string is a non-primitive type so when you pass a string it should be changed and give you the different result that you expect so in this case I'm just marking as static so that I could call it from the main function that's it static doesn't play any role here so let's see uh, I have x equals to hello world assuming that it's visual studio I'm just putting it in slides so that you could understand uh, uh, easily so I print it and it prints hello world and let's say I pass my X to the change function and these X and X are not same if you know from the functions lesson 
uh, this is like in Bangladesh and this is like in uh, Maldives something like that so in two different places and each of those doesn't know of each other the only way they know by passing it to the function these eggs and these eggs are not same after passing this this will be same or be linked so MSDN says that when you pass the X it passed as reference type so if I passed it and uh, I changed it so reference type means when you change an object or change something uh, it will remain same for uh, finishing that function so the change should change the change string X and after that it should print uh, change but if you run it in Visual Studio it will give you that hello world it will be still same so when I see it at first time I was really puzzled because they say that it's a reference type and uh, I couldn't really understand that how it's really happening so when I asked a PhD guy he was also failed to describe the fact that what is going under the hood so what he says that it's just immutable or uh, when you see a type is immutable it means it's a fixed type but it really doesn't explain a lot so we're going to go very deep into it so next what I'm doing I'm uh, uh, passing my X to a change ref function which is a reference type function if you know from the ref keyword in visual uh, C sharp so ref really does is uh, change anything if you pass an integer uh, with the ref keyword uh, after that uh, if you modify the uh, integer you will have the modified integer after the function is executed so after that it really prints changed but I shouldn't have to do that because only for primitive type primitive types I should have to do this but since it's not a primitive type it should be passed as reference so what's going wrong here so let's see some of those in terms of memory so string is a mutable type which means it's a fixed type so what happens is whenever you create a string it creates in a new memory location it really doesn't change the previous string let's say you first time say hello world and next time you're changing the hello world to change so it never really changed the hello world what it does it uh, looks up to the heap or memory and then sign a new location for changed and make a new string that's why it's a fixed time every time you change it it really makes a new string it doesn't change the previous one that's why it's a fixed type or said to be immutable so let's see in terms of memory that what happens so when you say that string X equals hello world it really creates a new uh, string in the memory hello world so when you call uh, the uh, console that right line it really prints the hello world from that memory heap so when you call change so it really passes the reference of the location into the function here into the function here after that when we are doing change x equals change so x equals change is really doing a new thing to a string so it will create a new string to a new memory location and let's say that new location is here and x is created here but after the function is passed it really remembers the previous memory reference location that's it so when it's print it prints hello world but it really changed in the uh, process of the function since that uh, it creates a, a new creates in a, into a new memory location so you cannot see it so when you pass it as reference what does it it also passes the memory location to your function uh, reference string but this time when it changed change to X it also creates a new memory location change creates a string changed to a new memory location and uh, when you get out of the function what it does it gives the reference of the location to your X so whenever you write it you'll get the same result as changed
that's it. So what happens when we have primitive types? Let's say an int. So what will happen? So let's say we have an int of 51 and it creates a new memory location. Uh, it creates in a new memory location with 51. So when you print x, it prints that uh, number. And when you pass it to change, it really copies the x to here. So how it does is it makes a new copy of your previous uh, number or previous primitive type, whatever it is, maybe date or time or something like that. But uh, when you changed it, it changed in that uh, copied location. So when you get back, you really don't get back the location that you are pointing to previously. That's one. So you really don't get it. So you really print the 51 and if you really pass it to a reference type function so what happens it this time it really passes the reference reference and when you change it you really change it here and so when you print it you'll get the 15, uh, 12 there that's it that's how uh, reference types works so if you really don't get it mail me i will try to help